National Minister of Police Becky Tele visited Phoenix again this weekend to update the community on the investigations into the civil unrest that took place a month ago. He was accompanied by members of the Peace Committee, which was set up by the provincial government. This time, the minister did not mince his words about the law and how it should be upheld. He also spoke about the 31-member team at the heart of the investigation and also confirmed more arrests. What trouble did they do? Where were the news, the proper news? About 152 of those firearms have been collected for Palestine. If they have found that they did things that they were not supposed to do, those companies will have to answer, including arrest of those people that abused them, including shutting down of the company we talk about. That's that that's that's on terms of private company. But besides, police have had the rates here, and they have found about 130 illegal firearms in this community. While some residents believe that there should have been more people present to hear about the update, others believe that the perpetrators shouldn't get away with the crimes they committed. I decided to raise my hand also and speak. But, oh, as we are here, we want a solution about the peace for these two communities, Zoelisha and Phoenix, Maori and so forth. But hearing comments like this guy here saying that they condone what they were doing here on those days that uh, they were killing the people, it won't bring peace. The minister believes that by working together and communicating effectively, peace can be restored in these communities. He also mentioned that the army and police will not be deployed indefinitely, suggesting that the work of rebuilding must start now or nothing will change. This video was brought to you by the North Coast Rising Sun Digital Team.